At this time, all gentlemen, if you can please remove your hats for the playing of the national anthem. At this time, if everyone can please be seated. I would like to introduce our salutatorian, Mercedes Santos. Ms. Santos is the National Honor Society Treasurer, Vice President of the Math and Girls Who Code Club. She was in county chorus and has participated in the school shows during her time here at RHS. Ms. Santos will be attending Brown University next school year. Where she will be studying computer science. Ladies and gentlemen, I bring to you our salutatorian, Mercedes Santos. Good evening, and congratulations to the class of 2018. I am honored to have the privilege of speaking in front of you today, although I think whomever began this tradition never had someone like me in mind. But I'm up here now, so there's no turning back. Um, if there's one thing I've learned in these four years at RHS, is, it is that I'm stubborn. Anyone who knows me knows that I would rather be the person to finish that project and not sleep while taking regular breaks for mental breakdowns. I'm the person in the group chat who will not stop until I've beaten every single person in every single possible game. I guess that's why I'm up here today but that's why we're all here today. It's because we decided that we were too stubborn to let an achievement like this pass us by. Through the dark early mornings, the Russian roulette of lunches, and the endless stacks of papers, we decided that we would not throw away our opportunities. I have to admit that there was a part of me today that did not want to be here. A friend of mine invited me to go on a kayaking trip and it would have been awesome to go. The problem is that I'm a physically weak human being whose only form of exercise consists of lifting a remote, and <laughs> I probably wouldn't do so well when forced to constantly and consistently row upstream. The thing about both kayaking and life is that you have to keep moving forward. You have to find that drive and determination to keep rowing. You row and row until you reach your destination, and there will be days when you can't see where you're headed. There will be days when you think your arms are going to give out and you want to quit. There may be days where you find yourself swept back further than you would have liked. But if there's one thing you do, is that you keep growing. Just as in life, you keep moving forward. There was a time where I couldn't ever have dreamt of this moment. When I was younger, I was diagnosed with selective mutism and I worked hard. And eventually, I grew comfortable enough to speak. But the shyness never really went away. 
It took me years to be comfortable enough to have what I call a normal conversation. In the subsequent years, I worked to find connections with people, and eventually, I recently achieved my dream of making friends. Now I'm performing shows, and I'm fulfilling my childhood dream. I started out as the girl who couldn't speak, and now I'm the one who has the honor of speaking in front of all of you today. <sighs> I literally started from the bottom, now I'm here. <laughs> the key to that triumph is being persistent and never giving up. I see that same drive in all of you, my classmates, and determination every day. We worked hard for more than a decade to earn this moment and we proved just how strong a Red Knight can be. This year, the JROTC beat more than 100 schools in a national drill team competition. Our inter percussion team won first in the Open Class Atlantic Coast Championships. And the boys basketball team won the District 3 Basketball Championships. And we are ranked third nationally in victories for 2,122 wins. In the future, make sure to take this persistence that you have needed through these years in Reading and apply it to the rest of your life. I think it's through our determination that we will succeed in these next stages of our lives. Whether it's being a commercial vocal performer or a DJ, success comes from the desire to win and the refusal to quit. And remember, once a Red Knight, always a Red Knight. Finally, I would like to thank my parents. Throughout these years, they've always taught me the meaning of independence, resilience, and I've nurtured my love for reading. Te quiero mucho. Ustedes son mis alas. Mi familia me ayudó para crecer tanto en todos estos años. Additionally, being in the music department has helped me so much, and I would never have gotten this far without that. My friends, Marisol, Adriana, Gabby, Marilise, Jesus, Carmen, Garcia, and Maya, you guys are awesome, and I'm going to miss all of you. And I just feel like you guys, um, to my teachers, I can't thank you enough. I just feel like you guys have the hardest job, but without all of you, none of us would be here right now. And I'll share my last piece of advice with my classmates which is probably the single most important thing that I will live by and will live by for the rest of my life. Don't forget to be awesome. Thank you. Thank you, Reading High, and congratulations, class of 2018. Thank you, Ms. Santos. Next, I would like to introduce our valedictorian, Maya Allinger. <laughs> Maya was a finalist for Burke's Best in Performing Arts in the Performing Arts category. Maya is the Associate Concert Mistress for the Reading Symphony Orchestra. She made the District 5, 10, and All-State Orchestra during her high school career. Maya will be going to Georgia Tech next year, studying in biomolecular engineering. <laughs> Maya stated something on the bottom of her paper, and I don't think she think I caught it. But she said, when it comes to orchestra, she is the GOAT, the greatest of all time. I bring to you our valedictorian, Maya Allinger. Good evening, friends and family, staff members, teachers, administrators, school board members, and most of all, members of the class of 2018. I would just like to start off by congratulating all of my classmates for making it to this huge milestone in our lives. 
All of your hard work and dedication has brought you to this point, and you should all be delighted with yourselves and your accomplishments. I'd like to start this evening by sharing a bit about my personal high school experience. The fact that I'm standing here and talking to you should already give you a few clues about my personality. I've always been hardworking and driven, perhaps even a little competitive, since as far back as my elementary school days. I remember in first grade, our classroom had a chart that ranked our ability to read, and when it was first hung up, I was maybe 10th or so in our 30-person class. The ranks changed each quarter, however, I vividly remember thinking how I wanted to be on the top of that list. And it was my first real instance of motivation that led me to being what some of my friends like to refer to as an overachiever. To no one's surprise, the lists were changed for the second quarter, and, well, yours truly was at the top of that list and continued to be so till the end of the year. A few years later, I started playing the violin. Though I did have some natural ability, I devoted time like you would not believe to practicing. At my prime, I was practicing like over three hours a day. My motivation was a boy who would outrank me on auditions and who shall remain nameless, though some of you may know to whom I'm referring. To be honest, he's still my main motivation for getting better, and though I may not have bested him in any auditions, I was his stand partner in the Reading Symphony Youth Orchestra, and my hard work paid off because now I actually get paid to perform. Isn't that what life's all about? Doing the things you love? Finding something to motivate me to work this hard is what got me to this point, but motivation was often fleeting throughout many points in my high school career. Unfortunately, due to my self-critical nature and tendency to overthink, as well as typical teenage angst and perhaps even genetics, I've struggled with depression for the past few years. There have been days where I could hardly get out of bed and my mom would joke about me being in a coma since I had slept for 15 hours straight. All I could think about is how late I stayed up the night before and how I didn't even want to roll out of bed for some reason or another. There were times that my depression caused me to be completely apathetic to everything and everyone around me. Luckily for me, I've had an incredible support system to keep me from completely succumbing to the enigma that is my mind. High school is tough and only reflects a small portion of the challenges we will experience in our lives. It's not always particularly fun. We bumble along as we make important decisions that can impact the rest of our lives. Sometimes we make mistakes. It's all just a part of life. No matter what obstacles stand in your way, whether it be finances, a mental or a physical disability, or even the loss of a loved one, only you have the power to pick yourself up and find the motivation to succeed again. You've all taken the first step towards success as you sit here and await your names to be called to receive your diplomas. Just think, you have motivated yourself to this point in some way or another. You deserve to be here, and for that, you should all be incredibly proud of yourselves. That being said, never forget about the people who got you to this point, your family, friends, and the members of the school district. All of these people have helped you in one way or another to get you here and will continue to help you even after you graduate. So should you ever require help in the future, you will always have resources available to you to keep you on the path to success. You will always have your Red Knight family. Now, I would like to thank all of the people who have helped me to this point. First and foremost are my family sitting somewhere. Yeah. It would be impossible for me to do some of the things I do without the financial and emotional support you have provided to me all these years. Mom, Dad, congrats. You have raised one to adulthood, and I hope I make you both proud. To my younger sisters, Marley and Angelina, I hope I inspire you guys into taking advantage of all of the wonderful experiences the Reading School District has to offer, because honestly, no matter what anyone says, not only is this school district amazing, but you have the power to take advantage of your circumstances. To the rest of my family up there, thank you for all of your love and support throughout the years. It really does mean the world to me. Thank you to the teachers like Mr. Richards, Mrs. Gambeta, and Ms. Seckler for not only guiding me throughout high school, but inspiring me to work hard and be the best student and person I could possibly be. Finally, Thanks to all of my friends who have stuck by me the past few years. I'm going to list most of you, so don't anyone get too offended if I, neither if I either you know, neglect to mention you or talk about some people more than others. Let's see. We have Carolina, 
for lending an ear whenever I needed it and inspiring my sense of fashion. Jonathan Yepes, Adriana Perez Flores, Kalina Gray, Jonathan Garcia for never failing to make me smile or laugh when I needed it most. Carmen Papavici, Nathan Serzin, Deidre Castro, my friend who I wish was a senior, Laura Sanchez, Felix Castillo for caring about me to the point where he made sure I was eating at least semi-regularly, Eric Astacio, the brilliant Alexandra Mercedes, and finally, my best friend, Abdiel Cruz. Abdiel, thank you, first of all, for dissecting that crawfish with me back in ninth grade. Were it not for that crawfish, I would not have had the confidence to start talking to you. You really are just such a fantastic person, and you know, as much as I joke about violas, you're a phenomenal musician and violist, you know, despite never taking private lessons, save for that one you had a couple of weeks back. It's been an honor to get to know you, and I'll miss you like you wouldn't believe next year. I really do wish you the best. I wish you all the best. I'm gonna wrap this up by saying once again, congrats to the class of 2018. Tomorrow, we are all moving on to the next chapter of our lives, whether that be attending college or trade school, joining the military, or entering the workforce. No matter what path you are headed down, with hard work and a good work ethic, you can achieve anything, regardless of what you are up against, because you are a red knight. And once a red knight, always a red knight. Thank you, Ms. Ollinger. We will now have remarks from School Board Vice President, Mr. Eddie Moran. Good evening. If I look, appear nervous or emotional, it's because I am. However, first and foremost, I want to say thank you so much for allowing me to speak at the Reading Senior High commencement ceremony. What an honor. I am truly humbled to stand here before our distinguished guests, parents, family, friends, staff, administration, my fellow school board members, and of course, the graduates. I would like to acknowledge that I am quite emotional being given this opportunity to speak tonight, not only as a school board member, but also as a parent of one of your fellow classmates who is also graduating today, my son, Tyler Moran. Thank you all for giving me the opportunity to express my pride and adoration to the graduating class of 2018. To the graduates, let me just say how filled with admiration and enormous pride I am as I gaze out among your graduates now sitting there in your caps and gowns glowing with accomplishments. Over the years, I have come to know many of you and your families on a personal level. I have, I have watched you mature into incre incredible, caring, and giving human beings. In fact, one of those students is Maricel Maribel. It's actually her 18th birthday today. Can you please stand, Mar Maricel? I'm gonna be honored, and I think it would be very special if you will all join me in singing happy birthday to Maricel. One, two, three. Happy birthday to you. Happy birthday to you. Happy birthday, dear Maricel. Happy birthday to you.
thank you all for that. However, please know that I am so proud of you all. At every competition, every baseball, football, and basketball game, you guys never lost your Reading High School dignity, win or lose. Every musical and band performance, you showed everyone what it meant to be a student from Reading Senior High and a Red Knight, which is pride. You held Um, you held your heads up high and strive for the best on all occasions. As you grab a hold of your reins of your new ladder to academics and personal achievements, never forget your Reading Senior High moments. Those moments will spur you on when things get tough, because things will get tough. You will be challenged at every turn in your next journey, be it college, military, law enforcement, workplace, or whatever you choose to pursue. When those challenges try to defeat you, I want you to reach back to this day and pull forth the strength, achievements, pride, sisterhood, and brotherhood you feel this very day and moment, laugh in the face of those challenges, and give it the old Red Knight cheer. Again, class of 2018, I love you all. Go forth and conquer the world, because the world is waiting for you to arrive. Allow me to please share two quotes with you guys today. The first quote is by Michelle Obama. You may not always have a comfortable life, and you will not always be able to solve all the world's problems at once, but don't ever underestimate the importance you can have, because history has shown us that courage can be contagious and can take on a life of its own. Quote number two by President Barack Obama. Don't just get involved. Fight for your seat at the table. Better yet, fight for a seat at the head of the table. Please allow me to, see it, to say a few words in Spanish. Buenas noches. Para mí es un orgullo y privilegio haber tenido esta oportunidad de decir unas palabras a todos presente. Hoy es un día muy emocional para mí y todos de ustedes. Yo me expreso no solamente como un director de la Junta Escolar, pero como un padre de un joven que también se está graduando hoy día. Yo he tenido el privilegio de conocer a muchos de los jóvenes presentes y, y a sus familias personalmente, y he visto muchos crecer a la cual se han hecho unos grandes seres humanos. Por favor, nunca se olviden que cuando la vida se ponga un poco difícil, recuérdense de este momento lleno de orgullo y levanten sus cabezas y sigan adelante. Quiero que sepan lo muchos que los amo a todos y que les deseo lo mejor hoy, mañana y siempre. In closing, as Coach Perez would say, can I get a red night? Can I get a red night? Can I get a red night? Congratulations once again and enjoy the night. Thank you. Thank you, Mr. Moran. Next, we will have remarks from the superintendent of schools, my dog, Dr. Khalid Mumin. Thank you so much, Mr. Terman. I'm having such a good time today, but I really ain't here to class of 2018. Where you at? 
One more time, class of 2018, make some noise. I congratulate you on this successful journey. But before I get into my remarks today, we have to salute many of the people here today that helped you along this journey. I'm talking about your mom, your dad, your mom moms, your pop pops, grandpa, sisters, your cousins, your nephews, some that are here today, but some of them that are above us, rising above us, looking down on this special day. And also, class of 2018, help me to help you give it up for all those beautiful people that are here for you today. I am so proud of you because you've completed an education that has, been inclu that has included rigorous academics, a multitude of assessments, and activities that will provide all of us with memories that will last a lifetime. You have been active participants in your educational journey, and you have left your fingerprints on the castle. From the top 10 students in the class, to our Burke's Best winner, to our state champion percussion team, our talented musicians, artists, athletes, and humanitarians, to the students who worked hard up until about 2.15 today to get here, you've all earned your rite of passage to get those keys to that next step in your journey. I am proud to stand here and say to you that you're, you are graduating from the one and only urban school district in this county. You are graduating from one of the best urban school districts in the state. You are all graduating from one of the best school districts in the United States of America. Now let me be very clear. I have emphasized the word urban because many people look at your environment, your upbringing in this city as an illness, something that will lead to nothing but failure, a road less traveled leading to nowhere with nothingness as an expectation, a future of doom and gloom to a never-ending cycle of poverty. I contend it has always been this way with the naysayers, and this may never change in their small minds. But who cares? Because they are the naysayers, the peanut gallery, and they're merely a distraction in your journey. From having conversations with one of my mentors from the class of 1961, to looking into your eyes as the class of 2018, I am here to say they cannot truly see what it means to be a Red Knight, representing the city of Reading. You represent the American dream with great authentic authenticity because you are a Red Knight. And once a Red Knight, you are all dreamers, activists, scholars, artists, athletes, humanitarians, with a clear vision of what the world should be and how one day soon you will take your seat at the table and change the world and all the perceptions of what it means to be an inner city youth. You have the heart of a champion because you are a red knight. Once a red knight, you are achievers who conquer any task with hard work, resilience, persever perseverance, fearlessness, grit, confidence, valor, and swagger because you are a red knight. Once a red knight, class of 2018, I have the greatest job in the world. As I look at you approach your goals in the way that you show a constant care for one another, is that, that that's how you quantify success. You do it as a unit. 
not by one individual accomplishment. Your success is the success of the class. Your success is the success of the district. Your success is the success of the city because you are a red knight. Once a red knight, Class of 2018, you've made it to commencement by conquering all of the challenges high school has to offer. And you know, I get to start feeling good up here about this because I just marvel at your intelligence, your savvy, your grace. You have earned a seat at the table as a graduate. And I must say, the way that we do it here in Reading School District, I can only define it by a few words by the eloquent Bruno Mars and Cardi B. You are dripping with finesse. So let's get this going. Drop top Porsche, rolling on my wrist, diamonds up and down my sleeve. Red Knight straight stunting, can't tell me nothing, bossed up and we changed the game. That's the Red Knight way. I'm so excited for you. Let's roll it on my wrist. All right, I want to get into that. The work, the hard work that you put in to get to this place in your journey, it doesn't stop here. You are embarking on a future that's not going to be as kind as all of these beautiful adults in this room have been to support you. People see you as a graduate, and they expect you to be similar to the swan on the lake. You're moving with grace. You're moving with elegance. With elegance. You're moving swiftly, but they don't take the time to appreciate the struggle, the struggle of being an inner city youth from the city of Reading. Wear that as a badge of honor. Naysayers, peanut gang, the haters, embrace those opportunities and make that build more strength and resilience in you. You have the responsibility to be that success story for the younger Red Knights coming up in the school system. You have that opportunity to step out into the real world and be that 100% success story as a unit, as a class. You are all Red Knights. And I said it a few times before, once a Red Knight, once a red night, I can't hear you, 2018, once a red night. Congratulations, I salute you, celebrate this evening, have fun, embrace the journey. I love you, God bless. Thank you, Dr. Mumin. We will now take the opportunity to recognize a few staff that will be retiring from Reading High School. The first retiree will be Mrs. Marilyn Torres, 38 years in the Reading School District. The second retiree present today, Dr. Sharon McClendon, 29 years in the Reading School District. Also retired today will be Judy Fernina, 19 years in the Reading School District. Thank you and congratulations. The first music selection of the night will be This Is Me.
us and know that there's a place for us for we glorious Thank you, chorus members. At this time, we will take the opportunity to watch the Reading Senior High School Multimedia Presentation, the Class of 2018. Working hard, girl, everything paid for First, last phone, bill, car, no cable 
Put your phone out, gotta hit them angles. Put your phone out, snapping like you Fabo. And you're showing off, but it's alright. And you're showing off, but it's alright. It's a short life. Without a follow, without a mention, you really piping up on these. You gotta be nice for what to these. I understand, you got a hundred bands, you got a baby bands, you got some bad friends. High school pics, you was even bad then. You ain't stressing off no lover in the past tense, you already had them. Work at 8 a.m., finish round five. All down, you don't see them outside. Yeah, they don't really be the same offline. You know, dog days, you know, hard times. Time for the last month, Saturday, call the girls, get them gassed up. Gotta hit the club, gotta make that jump. Gotta hit the club like you hit them, hit them, hit them angles. With your phone out, stopping like you Fabo. And you're showing off, but it's alright. And you're showing off, but it's alright. It's a short life. Like money, I can see it in your eye. 
You don't like winning, I can see it in your tie. Better be careful with these women when you trick and send it fly. She count money in her sleep and she don't never spend a knot. But she trapping and she had to make it happen for her life. Don't be mad because she had it. Here. Here. You know, parents, I don't know if they do this at home, but they walk around the hallway and like instead of saying, hey, how you doing? Hey, how's it going? They call each other from six miles away and go, here. Very strange, very strange. Um, before we get started tonight, um, sort of gonna get a little bit of energy and buzz here. You know, I gotta call my adopted son to the stage. And I know his folks are here tonight. After tonight, you can have this boy back, okay? He's yours, okay? So, uh, see, we talked about this today, and I'm just very proud of what you accomplished. Not just for you, but for also, also for the city that you live in. So we're gonna have a little fun. Mr. Brown, I know you're back there. I know you hear me, you can't see me. Jose, come on up here. So, I want all my seniors to stand up. Mr. Brown, bring that beat in for me. I want you to tell everybody who's the hardest working class that ever graduated from Reading High School. Yo. So now, Mr. Brown, I want you to bring the beat back, and I want everyone in here, everyone. See, the Santana Center, they should not even charge us to have graduation. Because when we have graduation here, we bring the house down. So for everyone who has something negative to say about the city of Reading, we're going to let them know what's the best city in Berks County. Mr. Brown, bring that beat back. Redding, 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 Redding. Oh, come on. Oh, God. Give a hand up for Jose. All right, you guys can have a seat. You know, I must say as a class that you guys are a little different. It, it did take me some time to figure out a way how I was going to summarize you as a class. The best way for me to do that is to say that you are a class of grinders. You scratch, you claw, you grind for what you want and for what you need. You should definitely be proud that you have the, the ability to persevere through difficult situations, because you definitely do so. And trust me, because of it, you will be stronger in the end. You have also been a fun class to hang around. So I gotta call a couple of you out. From my posse of boys, you know who you are. These jokers would hang out at Mr. Harris's door every day, there you go, right there, after homeroom. And they would stand up and all of the adults here, you remember when we were in high school, you thought you were cool. You would put the foot up against the wall, hands would go here, and you hoped as the girls walked by that they would say, hi. <laughs> well, for these three gentlemen, the girls just said, bye. <laughs> so, uh, you know, I honestly thought that they were like human scaffolding, holding up a wall every single day. So, guess what, guys? Just want to let you know, the wall will be okay next year. For my boy, Jeffrey Seaman, Jordan Corley, and Kahari Whitfield. Right. These brothers, every day, have to try and critique somebody and what they have on. Oh, don't like that tie. Don't like that shirt. Your pants are too long. Every day. 
I almost thought that like, I was a contestant on The View. So for you three brothers, okay, one day it's gonna come back to get you. Somebody's gonna start questioning you about what you're wearing. Yeah, Mr. Whitfield, I can see you, okay? It's coming. And, and these two jokers back here, you know, I, I had names for them, but I really can't say that here. But um, they were in my office every single day. Every day. Got to a point where I'd be in a meeting and I hear outside, Eriberto, Eriberto. And I'm like, open the door. Dude, what are you doing? Hi, Eriberto. Strange, strange. And lastly, my boy, <laughs> Jonathan Garcia. <laughs> Jonathan, where you at? I see you, Jonathan. I see you. You know, this young man and I, were in the hallway, and we're sort of roasting each other. And I got the best of him one day. And do you know what this boy did to me? Some of you know, because you were there. You witnessed it. So did you, young lady. This boy had the nerve to slap me in the back of the neck and run. I mean, he didn't run down the hallway. He was up on the fourth floor, looking out a window like, is Termin coming? <laughs> Brother, you better be glad I had my sneakers on that day. But I truly mean this when I say, I will miss seeing all of you each and every day. You have been a blessing for me for the past three years, so I just want to thank you. Before I start my last address to the class of 2018, I would like to thank all of the administrators, teaching staff, board members, parents, for your continued support of the students who attend the Reading High School and the Reading School District. Without everyone pulling together as a team, our students would not be here today. So please give, give yourselves a round of applause for your support and your efforts with our kids. The class of 2018 accomplished a great deal this year. Here are some of their accomplishments. This year, Reading High's memorable fall production was Working, a musical. The RHS marching band plays first in the annual Reading Holiday Parade. The indoor percussion group won the Region 2 Chapter Championship and the Atlantic Coast Championship. There are 26 members of Key Club graduating tonight. This year's Burke's Best winner in computer science is Marilise Castillo Benitez. The Burke's Best finalist in performing arts is Maya Olinger. There are 69 members of National Honor Society graduating tonight. The Reading High boys basketball team won the district championship this year. In the spring, the music department performed a showcase of music theater performances, a night on Broadway featuring the mini musical 21 Chump Street. Congratulations to the JROTC drill team who won first place overall at the National Championships in Daytona, Florida. They are now considered a master level drill team. Both the JROTC women and men's physical fitness team placed first in the Regional Youth Physical Fitness 2018 Championship. The last two accomplishments we want to make sure that are highlighted today. First, this was the second year that Reading High School held a mini-thon. The money raised will go to support pediatric cancer. It was a huge success and will continue as a strong tradition at Reading High. This year, the team raised $5,000. Rosette, congratulations, dear. Your leadership and leading us with the Minithon this year, I appreciate it. And you did one heck of a job, Lizette, so thank you. 
For the third year in a row, the Reading High School Percussion Ensemble won the Regional and Atlantic Coast Championships, and they have a little bit of a treat for you tonight.
We have some very talented children in the Reading School District. In closing, seniors, I really want you to know that I meant what I said earlier. You have a drive, grit about you like no other class. In our three years together, I definitely noticed a change in you over time. I have watched some of you go from little quiet sophomores to our leaders of the future. I noticed a change in you. I recall sitting in my office during the summer of 2015 and talking to my brother, we don't look like brothers, but we are, Bobby Mack, and looking at where you were academically. I really didn't know how to respond to what I was looking at, and at that point, I knew that we were gonna have to go in a different direction. The other day, I pulled out my PowerPoint from your 10th grade year in the auditorium with me, and I remember challenging you to change. Change the perception folks have of you. Change the perception you may have of yourself. Continue the tradition of academic success. I challenged you to change. So when I looked at where you were academically by at the end of last year, we noticed a change. You may not have been the highest rated academic class but no class that walked out of here outworked you, not one. So I guess that is why there are 704 of you sitting down here tonight. And there are 40 of you going to a trade school, there are 25 of you going to the military, and not to mention, 425 of you will be going to college next school year. And the good thing is, there's 150 of you who are already in the workforce, and you're contributing to Berks County. So congratulations to what you're doing next year. So when I take some time to reflect, I really did notice the change in you. And I could come up with 400 examples, but I just came up with a few. Now we already mentioned earlier, I'm not gonna sing happy birthday this time, but I do have to talk about my homegirl Marisol. Marisol in 10th, 11th grade, this little quiet girl, they didn't really know who she was. And then all of a sudden her senior year, I saw this young lady evolve and step up. She reached out to me when the violence occurred in, in Florida and said, we need to do something. She stepped up, she started a movement because she wanted to make change. This young lady has a heart of gold and I watched her support her classmates and any achievement they have. The young lady worked Ber one Burke's best the first person to congratulate her was Marisol. Marisol will give you the shirt off her back. So over the course of three years, I watched Marisol change. Edric Burgos. Edric walked into my office after having her son over the summer. And I could tell in our conversation, she was very unsure of her future. She was sort of behind in her work, and I'm not sure at that point in time if she had any direction in terms of where she wanted to go. She got on her grind. She started working hard, and I watched Edric from afar, and I watched her lead the, the cadets for Jero TC. And Edric would scare me, because Edric, held everyone accountable, she knew what she wanted, and she demanded that from her cadets. At the end of the JROTC ceremony, I remember going up to Edric, and her son was there with her. I picked him up and held him. Instead of Edric looking at me as we were talking, she was looking directly at her son. 
I could tell at that point in time when I could look at her eyes, what Edric was saying was, I love that young man. I will do whatever I need to do to make sure I'm successful so he's successful. In Edric, I noticed a change. My man, Anthony Valdez. Anthony is the true definition of grit and determination. Anthony has cerebral palsy. I have watched Anthony move about the building in either his wheelchair or his walker. Anthony has become a very determined young man over the past several years. I watched Anthony at the JROTC ceremony. It would have been very easy for us to come down and give Anthony his award, but Anthony wasn't having it. Anthony walked up on that stage, he got his award, he walked down that stage with a determination and grit like no other. <laughs> Anthony, if I could take that grit and determination you have and put it in a bottle and sell it, I'd be a millionaire. Who better, lead us to, who better than to lead us tonight, Anthony? Anthony is gonna be the first student to walk across that stage and get his diploma tonight. And last, my homegirl, Diamond Miller. I got to know Diamond one day as I was walking down the hallway and she was sitting at the end of the hallway playing her guitar. I don't know why kids like to stay at Reading High School till six, seven, eight o'clock at night. For some of them, I think they sleep there. Diamond was one of them. That night, she explained that she was gonna play the guitar and sing at Sweet Ride. I had no issues getting my kids to say, hey, let's go to Sweet Ride. So that night, we went to Sweet Ride, and we, uh, we listened to Diamond play, and she did a wonderful job, wonderful. And then you come back, and you get a chance to observe. And I got a chance to look at Diamond, see how she was doing. And what I saw in Diamond was a change. She started to mature. She started to be more vocal. She started to be more involved. The senior recital, this young lady sang a song called A Change in Me. That song is so appropriate for tonight.
I'm not sure Diamond would have been able to do that a year ago. But tonight, she knocked it out the park. Congratulations, Diamond. <laughs> Seniors, as you walk out of here tonight, I want to tell you how proud I am of you. I do want you to remember, two th remember one thing. There are two types of people in this world. Those who adapt to change or those who live in the past. Those who adapt to change see the world differently. They experience life and all it has to offer. They continue to progress, prosper, and have an opportunity to be the best at what they do. Those who don't adapt to change end up staying in neutral. There's no forward thinking with them. Most of times, these individuals are very negative. The number one thing with these individuals, and this is so true, they never get an opportunity to reach their full potential. You have shown the ability to change, to be better, to be the best at what you do. Take what you have learned, and I want you to take the world by storm. Let them know. You are a red knight, and you are a force to be reckoned with. Seniors, it has been my pleasure. You are going to be the class what helps the city of Reading finish what they started. <laughs> Dr. Mumin and I had this conversation yesterday. Is there's one thing that I really want you to take away from those students who are going to college next year. Make sure you finish. It is great that you are going. We are happy for you. Make sure you finish what you start. I wish you nothing but the best. Thank you so much, and I love all of you. The second music selection of the night will be Bridge Over Trouble Water by the Reading High School Chorus.
All right, I'm going to, before we get to this next part, and I introduce these two, I just want to say if this goes sideways, this is not my fault. Usually we have the class president come up and make a speech, but these two individuals back here talk me into the president and the vice president talking at the same time. So, this doesn't go well. This is not my fault. Mr. Martinez and Mr. Teneo have both participated in the Upward Bound program and the Dearden Leadership Academy with Albright College. Both students won several scholarship awards this school year. Jose and Caesar were key figures in coordinating the March for, Our, March for Our Lives events at Running High School. Both students will be attending Penn State, Penn State University next year, where Caesar will major in pre-med and Jose in political science. Ladies and gentlemen, I bring to you the twins at Reading High School, Caesar Martinez and Jose Teneo. mi gente. <laughs> yo, yo, yo. Good evening, ladies and gentlemen, Red Knights, families, teachers, school board members, Superintendent Dr. Momi, Principal Mr. Terman. Ladies and gentlemen, it's a good day to be a Red Knight, isn't it? Before we get into talking about this amazing senior class, we would like to say thanks. We want to thank our teachers, not just for giving us half credit, even though our papers were due at the beginning of the semester, but rather because teachers are a supremely important part of a student's education. Teachers have the power to enlighten and guide us, and Reading High School teachers certainly do that. We thank the staff members in our school for providing us with what we needed. Our counselors were there to advi advise us and help us plan our future beyond RHS. We want to thank Ms. Marianel Lopez, who was our school mom throughout our high school years. Also, Ms. Malak, who reminded us to apply for scholarships because college is, ex is expensive. <laughs> and Ms. Croman for being the most optimistic person ever and always coming up with new projects and ideas to help the students. We also thank the support staff for keeping the castle running smoothly. Mr. Terman, our principal, has become a father figure to us. Every time we felt overwhelmed or frustrated, he gave us advice and helped us develop leadership and interpersonal skills. He recognized that we would have the ability to strengthen school spirit and include positive peer groups. His office doors were always open for all of us. He's truly the best principal any class could ask for. We also thank the school board members and superintendent, Dr. Mumi, for making the right decisions in programming spending, staff, and facilities. They have managed everything and given us the resources that RSD students need. To this point, we have addressed the how we got here, but we cannot forget, most importantly, who made it possible for us to be here in the first place. Our parents supported us and inspired us. They are the catalyst that ignited our determination, and they are constant motivators to be better at everything we put our minds to. In addition, we thank ourselves because we made it. We are red knights. We overcame procrastination, hard tests, lots of homework, and finally, we're here. Our school motto is tell me why you're here. This is a charge for us as seniors. To this we say we are here because we love being red knights. We're here because times might get difficult but we never frown. We are here because we believe the class of 2018 is the best. We are here because of our, we, sorry. We are here because of the sacrifices our parents made to get us here. We are here because there's no such thing as failure. Red Knights never fail. We are here because of the picture, the memories, and the celebrations. We are here because of the 13 years of consistent hard work and dedication. We are here because the grind never stopped and will never stop. 
Most importantly, we are here because each and every one of us will achieve our own success. No words can explain the joy and gratitude I feel to be your senior class president, and for Jose to be your senior class vice president. Tonight we are making history by showing that we seniors are a team. Usually the president gives a speech alone on this stage, but tonight the vice president is with me because just as how we have been all year round, the class president and vice president worked as a team. It has been an honor to have you, Jose, as our vice president and my brother. <laughs> um, exactly 90 years ago, Benny Senior High School graduated its first class, the class of 1928. We, the 90th class, through our hard work and achievements, have honored the classes before us. And as seniors, we have set an example for future classes. Rising sophomores, juniors, and seniors, it is up to you now to make a change. After we walk out these doors, it will be your task to maintain this legacy. Keep working hard. Help the community and the city of Reading. Participate in school activities and embrace our school spirit by always being RSD proud. And most importantly, make change happen because there will always be room for change. Yo quiero agradecerles a mis padres. A mi padre, el señor César Martínez, y a mi madre, la señora Virginia Rodríguez de Martínez. Ellos son las personas que más me apoyaron y me continúan apoyando en este camino de mi educación. Por 18 años, mis padres me ayudaron a entender que la escuela es importante, a valorar la educación y me ayudaron a seguir mis sueños. Gracias a los dos, los quiero mucho y sé que contaré con su apoyo para toda la vida. Yo también, como César, quiero aprovechar esta oportunidad para darle gracias a mis padres, a la señora Ángela Heredia de Tineo y al señor Vigilio Tineo. Muchas gracias por ser mis padres y darme todo el apoyo, el amor y el cariño que cualquier hijo solo puede soñar. A mi familia los quiero mucho y quiero agradecerles por apoyarme en este paso tan grande que tomaré. Quiero que sepan que todo lo estoy haciendo por ustedes y mi éxito se lo debo a ustedes. Throughout this 2018 school year, I know many of us who wanted to quit under the pressure of being a seniors and all the responsibilities that go along with it. Likewise, some of us try to balance home life with work, sports, and a social life. When things got tougher, the class of 2018, oh my God. <laughs> but when things got tough, the class of 2018 got tougher. We fought, we worked, and at the end, our diligence, grit, and class group chats got us past the struggles. Our class will go on to be full of lawyers, doctors, musicians, artists, teachers, principals, people in the workforce, business people, and maybe even a future United States president. In the end, as we all overcame the obstacles thrown at us, we will overcome the obstacles in our future. Get up from each fall and show the world what we are made of. The class of 2018 always has and always will overcome. Yo, Jeff, where you at? Yo, Jeff, you're... Yeah. 1-8? 1-8? Yeah. Red. Red. Red! Thank you. All right, thank you, Jose and Caesar. All right, seniors. It is now that magical time. It's 
So if all my seniors can please stand. Mr. Rem Mr. Moran, on behalf of the faculty and staff at Reading Senior High School, it gives me great pleasure to inform you as Vice President of the Board of School Directors that the class of 2018 has satisfactorily completed their requirements for their diplomas from Reading Senior High School. Wow. Wow. You ready for this? Y'all ready for this? By virtue of the authority vested in me by the City of Reading and the Commonwealth of Pennsylvania, in accordance with the statement by the principal of Reading Senior High School, I declare you to be graduates of Reading Senior High School. Please present yourselves at this time to receive your diploma, which will be evidence of your graduation. Senior class, if you can please be seated. And at this time, we're going to prepare personnel to go to the middle stage. Maya Lena Olinger, Alexandra Mercedes Santos, Jose M. Teneo Heredia, Cesar Junior Martinez Rodriguez, 
Jesus Salazar Castaneda. Louis C. Rolone. Shelby Nicole Boyle. Carlos J. Mora. Lily Marlene Alonso. Giamari Lachey Abraham. Maricel Mirabal. India S. McCormick. Juan Carlos Perez. Darlene Machado. Sofia Odio Guerrero. Brian Alexis Gonzalez. Anthony Colon. Whitney Martina Jock. Jonathan David Bradbury. Noriana J. Cooley. Nathaniel J. Beeler. Carmen A. Popovici. Alex Zacazantel. Diamond T. Miller. Janelise Rodriguez Acevedo. Madison A. Cruz. Kevin Munoz. Idami V. Rivera. Evelyn Huerta. Taryn Akala Cousset. Abdul K. Musa. Lizbeth Orihuela Flores. Henry Ramirez. Adriana Alarcón. Brandon Jesus Sanchez. Carolina Reyes Santos. Gabriela Pepin. Adriana Perez Flores. Emily Christine Franklin. Kalina A. Gray. Dietrich L. Castro. Leon Ba Vang. Devante A. Diaz. Jonathan Garcia. Brittany Sanchez Oliveres. Alondra Adame Almanza. Milton Melendez. Dominic N. Rodriguez. Angel Bernard Fontanez. Abdel Joel Cruz. Alicia Inez Garcia Torres. Catherine Joani Alvarez. Isara Herman Aracena. Glendalise Alvarado Rivera. Alessandra Gonzalez Rodriguez. Carlos Juan Alicea. Adrian R. Figueroa. James Anastil. Geneva Darla Sharice Gomes. Angel Luis Alcaraz. Elizabeth Gaspar Juarez. Justin O. Alvarado. Kimberly M. Figueroa Rodriguez. Jonathan Noel Acosta. Jocelyn Garcia Lopez. Aniello Alicea. Joel Garcia. Jonathan Adele Alvarado. Austin Garcia. Sasha A. Alvarado Salazar. Adriana D. Garcia Guevara. Eduardo Alvarez. Jada Leah Garcia Miller. Yareth M. Alvarado. Stephanie Fonseca. Jose Luis Betancourt Quintero. Josue Joel Garcia. Kaylee Baez Mejia. Roseni Guerrero Rio. Kayla Pisono. Angela Bachirake GLA. Angelica Maria Batista. Bandu Jerian Camara. Danitza Alicea Santos. Kevin O. Gonzalez. Yasil Acosta. Cesar Garcia. Maria de la Luz Acosta Santos. Kaylee Ann Graybill. Brandy Lee Graham. Anel O. Gutierrez. Litsy Marie Abreu. Angel K. Guerrero. Richard Andres Abreu. Julie M. Gonzalez. 
Giovanni Aponte. Michelle Guzman. Luis A. Aponte Ruiz. Audrey Garcia. Matthew Miguel Amix. Tamaris C. Garcia. Luyendi Lisette Abreu Dineo. Daviliana Gill. Chance D. Anderson. Carlos David Gomez. Damaris M. Arias. John Luis Gomez Rodriguez. Sheila T. Bautista. Elsie Hernandez Benitez. Crystal S. Aponte. Juliana N. Hernandez Cotto. Destiny Marie Arthur. Viviana Hernandez. Andrea N. Ayala Lopez. Alanis L. Hernandez. Armid L. Armand. Bobby Ray Heath. Rahi Baptiste. Julio G. Hernandez. Unique A. Asbury. Cassandra Joseph Latouche. Jose Noel Batista Mateo. Axel G. Hernandez Reyes. Virdalin Rosangela Batista Corniel. Carlos Hernandez Chavez. Nazmas Bizwas. Juliana Celeste Hernandez. Gustavo Ayala Perez. Brinette Hildalgo. Tanaya Elizabeth Garcia. Carolina Castaneda. Dariana Iris Arellano Avalos. Maria Guadalupe Gonzalez Lara. Alex Manuel Abar. Amy Esperanza Guerrero. Brisa Murillo. Melvin Enrique Guerrera Flores. Catherine R. Canales. Anastasia I. LeBron. Jenny Elena Caiseguano Navarro. Sabrina M. Kramer. Nayeli V. Cabello Sorria. Jaylene C. Jackson. Suleika P. Bermudez. Tatiana Sonia Jackson. Terlesa Bazil. Herandi Yasmin Leco Campos. Ben Yamil Burgos. Javier Alexis Lafranc. Yaziel Caban Morales. Carlos Luis Lafranc. Kiara Carrion Mahones. Nidalis Lebron Betancourt. Kevin Angel Bryan. Alessandra Lagunas. Anna G. Castellon Zavala. Roberto Antonio Hernandez. Trinity Jewel Arendt. Kenneth Heaster. Jessica Ben Cosme. Yudi Hernandez. Victoria E. Franco Diaz. Grace Hernandez. Angelise Michelle Arbele Figueroa. Jaisha L. Hightower. Lorani Castillo Candelario. Jesse Hernandez Rivera. Bianca T. Comfort. Lisa Lu. Jose B. Colona Gomez. Jensen Innocent. Vanessa Castillo. Robert Elliot Sanchez. Darielle J. Contreras Nunez. Jayan Hashan Letterlo. Jaden Shade Corley. Cameron L. Jackson. Jordan Xavier Corley. Ayana S. Jalal. Alanis Cruz Zambrana. Eriberto Lopez. Paola Calvo. Kahari S. Kirkland Whitfield. Kean Brown. Simon Berlaku. 
Malik Jamar Jackson. Ashley D. Camejo. Kayla Marie Taveras. Edric Burgos Diaz. Melba E. Lopez. Jose M. Bueno. Perla Maciel Juliao Guzman. Madeline Bueno. Teresha Johnson. Edward Samuel Cruz. Janaris Jimenez. Janeth Paredes Medina. Sureli M. Juarez. Luis Y. Ceja Ramirez. Reynalis Altagracia Martinez Polanco. Meralis M. Castillo Benitez. Josalina Mateo Almonte. Brian Sebastian Castillo Rodriguez. Malena Valentina Gracia Garzón. Nidia Lynn L. Cologne. Naomi Marie Martinez de Jesus. Dylan Cologne. Salim M. Cordero Cleto. Raiden Manuel Castro Ramos. Carolina Castillo Morla. Elizabeth Marie Cosme. Brittany A. Marcinson. Agnelli Contreras. Kayla M. Lopez. Diana Castro Ramos. Tiana Antonio Lebron. Jocelyn Charicata Leon. Rolando Marte Lopez. Jorge Luis Castillo. Luz Maria Marte Batista. Stephanie Chavaria. Jordi A. Marte. Jodil Maria Collado Vicente. Melissa M. Malak. Jose Crespo. Aleem H. Tarawale. Andre M. Cruz. Ricky M. Lopez Mercedes. Cassandra Y. Cortez. Abigail Janae Murky. Jalen E. Cruz. Yeraldi Martinez. Skylexi Alize Davies. Eric Montes de Oca. Tiffany Kiana Davis. Nicole Marie Molina Rivera. Jamal K. A. Dancy. Karen Jalen Mejia de Leon. Yanir de Jesus Peguero. Iliani Martinez. Jose David Zalapa Alonso. Tiana McKenzie. Wilfredo I. Duran. Katheria L. Martinez. Anthony Tyler Quinn Bobbitt. Darling De La Rosa Ramirez. Carolyn De La Cruz Peña. Albert Luis Mercado Nunez. Michelle G. Cruz Romero. Nicelia Nicole Mendez De La Cruz. Nancy Cruz Rivera. Alejandro Luna. Gloriani M. Cruz Romero. Ismabel Lizardo Carrasco. Zaley V. Delgado. Perla Duran Tavares. Jason Lee De Jesus. Delvis Starlin Garcia Martinez. Jada A. Decker. Laedi J. Taveras Jimenez. Stephanie Cornejo Paredes. Alicia Soleil Mesa. Katana J. Crespo. Alex M. Milanes. Juana Isabel Calvillo Zavala. Luis E. Mingucha. Jonathan Yepes Guzman. Angel J. Montes. Jason M. Crawford. Kayleen M. Torres. Angelo Cruz. Tyler I. Moran. Yolvis Cordones Castro. Evan G. Morales. Fabiel Cristomo. Sean C. Morales. Isaiah Cruz. 
Christian Medina Zavala. Dayanit Cortorreal. Demandi McDowell. Jaquan Marquise Cruz. Cordell J. Mauer. Alondra Villalobos Canela. Jim Anthony Mejia Acuna. Iralis Duran. Meralis J. Medina Nadal. Jahira De Jesus. Jalamares Morales. Magdalena Diaz. Kalia Anaya Mitchell. Yureli Delgado. Michael Loera Castro. Liz M. Diaz. Alicia McKnight. Lori Samantha Dodder. Charles Everett Pickens. Luis A. Diaz. Ariana Alexis Montserrat. Hector R.J. Dixon. Cameron James Morasco. Enid G. Diaz. Esther Esquivel Valdez. Francelis Duran. Cindy Telez. Brian Johnwell Cortez Deida. Joel Eduardo Reyes. Aureli Yisneri Ramirez Martinez. Michael Torre. Kelvin Xavier Espinosa Nazario. Erickson Morales. Samantha Custodio. Gianni Tejada. Rennie Fernandez. Dorian Jamal Moore. Isop Falu. Lizette Jesenia Morales Marquez. Raymond J. Feliz. Abraham Torres. Victor M. Feliz. Miraline Torres Torres. Kevin Estrada. Hector D. Monclava Delgado. Natalie Marie Escalera. Perla M. Tavera. Jennifer Marie Feliciano Sanchez. Akel Reeves Templeton. Rory A. Ellison. Xavier L. Starks. Brianne Jeline Elsie Everett. Paula Marie Sterling Contreras. Charmani Drigo. Jaylene Suero Acevedo. Christopher Desiderio. Kenneth Daniel Soto Vera. Jose Del Valle Cruz. Nathan A. Serzin. Alexandra De La Cruz Soto. Hernan Solorio. Esperanza M. Duran. Willie N. Starks. Brittany A. Dunkelberger. Andy Solalinde Rivera. Jayla E. Feliciano. Eric Anderson Tavares Garcia. Nastasian L. Feliciano. Mildred Olivet Tavora Vasquez. Darlene Espinosa. Victor I. Mora. Catherine Torres. Melvin Ramon Tavares Tavares. Thais Dineo. Israel Santiago Sosa Savignon. Anna K. Tavares Gonzalez. Javon S. Tyler. Andrea Marie Torres Noguera. Jasmine Torres Cruz. Yureli Uribe. Nicaris Olerio Fernandez. Yamilet Fabian. Leslie Tolentino. Annabelle Ferreira Cruz. Meraris P. Tremels. Becky Marisol Furman. Ana A. Mercedes Gonzalez. Lorelis Julissa Fernandez Valdez. Miguel Santana. Christian Destiny Fields. Kelvin S. Toro. David T. Duong. Jada N. Thompson. 
Joan Marcos Estrella. Javon S. Thompson. Kevin Steven Perez Gonzalez. Jalen M. Thompson. Osvaldo Diaz Santana. Benjamin C. Thomas. Brandon Michael Brubaker. Dakota Cheyenne Levan. John Ruben Feliciano. Anthony D. Towles. Savannah Rosalie Feliciano. Amethyst K. Toledo. Roxana Uribe. Isaac Montes Sanchez. Benjamin Montes Sanchez. Nicole Soto. Nierka Marie Sotelo. Lisbeth Tineo Ledesma. Jennifer Shaman Soto Castillo. Diana Dianara Torres Morillo. Ricardo Rivera. Imani N. Price. Daisy Gonzalez. Daniela Orozco. Benalis Scarlin Moreno Horan. Jacetta Marie Rios. Joseph Anthony Tassaro. Lydia Olympia Munoz. April Denise Tassaro. Jaslyn Muniz. Christopher and Dino Rios. Genesis D. Munoz Arias. Adolfo Rivera. Amy J. Navarro. Richard Koss Jr. Anaya Diane Olinger. Kathy D. Cruz Velez. Josefina Noriega. Christian M. Cassiano. Crystal Murataya. Jaylin Figueroa. Anderson Nunez Savinon. Rachel Maldonado. Nyet V. Nguyen. Camila Santiago Rivera. Sebastian Nunez Lopez. Chanali Colon Soliveras. Douglas Nin Ayala. Esmin Marmalejos Urena. Carlos Javier Ogando. Elijah Leon Sloan. Adwell Novales. Luis J. Calderon. Jonathan Pichardo Hernandez. Hector D. Miller. Christian U. Pomales. Sholin James Williams. Juan Giafon. Xavier Alexander Melendez. Asir Ortiz Pacheco. Lorelai Coste. Jacqueline A. Penalosa Cardenas. Will Marie Cruz Garcia. Milagros Peguero Castillo. Dante M. Burgess. Omar U. Martinez. DeAndre Augustine Balak. 
Carlos M. Martinez. Tatiana De Jesus. Felix B. Pepin. Giselle Arana Ramirez. Brenda Lee Otero. Caitlin A. Gibble. Leslie Natalie Osorio. Zayara M. Alvarez. Gabrielle I. Papitsis. Michaela L. Colon. Richelli Munoz Jimenez. Imani Lene Washington. Tiana Kit Nesby. Isaiah Lee Moore. Andres C. Ortiz. Christian J. Colado. Janaris Pena. Daniel Benitez. Catherine A. Pillier. John J. Scott. Victor Anderson Urena Yami. Brian Dario Rodriguez. Pedro Jordani Yami Rosis. Juan Ramirez. Kadel Luis Perez Martinez. Jose Gonzalez. Thomas I. Perez. Kiana Santiago. Brittany Perez. Cassandra T. Lewis. Fabiola A. Perez. Yanirka Rodriguez. Adrian Y. Perdomo Chala. Olympio Junior Placencia Reyes. Jean Banesh Philistine. Armando Rivera. Esther Pauli. Alicia Star Robinson. Jose Luis Patino Santana. Amanda Marie Batista. Lenny Pasapera Reyes. Justin Lamont Gibson. Kermi N. Pleites. Rosangela De La Hoz. Rocio Pisano. Valeria Alejandra Mata Osorio. Cindy Reyes. Brandon Joseph Grulart. Glenford A. Reed. Juan Antonio Ayala. Jesus Enrique Ramirez. Jose Luis Carmona Guzman. Jose I. Ramirez. Victor Manuel Guzman Ortega. Jamie Lee Reyes Morales. Mark Anthony Olivas. Kelvin Antonio Reyes. Nicolas Veras. Kenzier T. Ratliff. Donai Quintanilla. Lily Rose Ramos. Alexis Yepes. Dayeli Placencia. Sitlali Carpinteiro. Yaritza Ramos. Eric Noel Astacio. Carla Stephanie Quinones Cabrera. Julian Vargas. Stephanie Isabel Cleto Matos. Luis A. Vasquez. Heidi Caridad Pichardo Damiron. New York Maria Vargas Vasquez. Saigon L. Crosswell. Cheyenne L. Wampo. Melissa Lisette Lopez. Charles Roman. Gabriel Ivan Rivera. Serai Rivera Sevillos. Glendalise Rosa Rivera. Samantha Marie Rosado. Xiomara Giselle Rivera. Jaquan Derek Barnes. Jose Rivera. Alaya Marie Vargas. Omar Rivera. Tiffany Malave Torres. Marcus Rivera Maldonado. Desmarie Vargas Velez. Adriana M. Rivera. Camila M. Vasquez Ponce. Luis Fernando Rivera Sierra. Gabriel J. Valle. John Michael Rivera. Christopher Velasquez. Jose Ramos Carasquillo. Amaya E. Vasquez. Jonathan Ramos. Juan Pablo Velasquez Flores. Christopher D. Reyes. 
Jonathan Alexis Velasquez Mingual, Rachel Reyes, Yaelin Maria Vargas, Carla Resendiz Salazar, Lorena Vasquez, Leonardo Reyes Pisano, Manuel Emilio Vargas, Essence B. Cruz, Cynthia Noemi Valentin, Bianca M. Robles, Brian A. Velasquez, Marie Elizabeth Ruiz, Maria Esther Vasquez Baez, Ashlyn N. Rapley, Daniela Vasquez, Taisha M. Rivera, Brian Joel Velez, Alexia Rickenbach, George Richard Whistler, Robert Kevin Robinson, Marquise Latrell Washington, Xavier Nino Rivera, Verdania W. Williams, Cody Nathaniel Rivera, Larry Christopher Wingo, Michaela N. Rivera, Arturo R. Violines Rivera, Luis F. Rivas Cortez, Jose A. Zayas, Yanesca Dalila Reyes, Glean Peter Vargas Aguilera, Justin Rivera, Miguel A. Vargas Rosario, Diego Riverol, Eliza Villanueva Castillo, Gabriel Yvette Rivera, Ibeth M. Villa, Savannah D. Rodriguez, Brianna Marie York, Luis R. Salas, Desiree Marie Vicente, Claribel Rodriguez de la Rosa, Ryan C. William Chave, Fernando Daniel Ruiz, Brian Vargas Perez, Miguel A. Ruiz, Stephanie T. Velez, Julian M. Rosario, Darius I. Sudler, Christopher Ivan Rosado, John Carlos Guzman, Giovanni V. Rosario, Michael Hibbert, Joshua Ruiz, Ishmael Reyes, Soleil Janaya Ruiz, Tierra J. Santiago, Jacedi Rodriguez, Rayvon T. Patrick, yeah. Michael Rodriguez, Isaiah Nehemiah Smalls, Henry Rodriguez, Fung Mai Chow, Jose Miguel Rodriguez, Stanley Messiah Anicia, Gian Lucas Robles, Evelyn V. Aragon, Victoria R. Sanchez, Anastasia L. Williams, Jessica Rodriguez, Christian L. Guadalupe, Javen Kane Santiago, Stone Tyler Weber, Natalia A. Salcedo Sorrija, Adolfo Alejandro Yepes Meza, Ariani M. Rodriguez, Tyler Stephen Weber, Sky M. Rodriguez, Jonathan Tomas Escaraman, Jorge Miguel Salazar Zambrano, Hector Sereno, Jean Carlos Rodriguez Rodriguez, Joshua M. Gonzalez, Diana Yafrazi Romero Tejeda, Omar Dababon Harris, Alanis Marie Roldan Rodriguez, Angel Luis Madera, Joyce Juliet Rodriguez Roman, Julius E. Martinez, Anna Yuseli Rodriguez Rodriguez, Talitha M. Holmes, Pablo I. Rodriguez Garcia, Diana Yasmin Pena, Rafael Rolone, Ruby C. Torres, Elizabeth Rojas Mendoza, Jessandra Adamas, Sayani Segura, Kayla Acosta, Desiree M. Shanton, Taylor Mayo, 
Jeffrey Seaman. Rocio Gutierrez. Angie Fernani Sension. Nigel Santana Wilson. Janusli Delamar Rodriguez Rodriguez. Giovanni Jesus Santa Figueroa. Yarelise Saez Vega. Paola A. Santana Lamboy. Kiera Nicole Ruiz Santiago. Nierka Santiago. Chelsea Rosario. Alex E. Santana. Isashe M. Rosa. Jesus Antonio Portes Rivas. Nicole M. Sanchez. Juan Carlos Sierra Cruz. Brianna G. Sanchez. Giovanni Angel Segura. Armando Salinas Limos. Tiana Onye Scott. Jalissa Salvador Ruby. Joyce Santiago Vidal. Lisbeth Sadalgo. John Carlos Sierra Cruz. Stephanie Sanchez. Alexia Schultz. Your kills Chantel Sharp Estrella. Jaza Nicole Vega. Zania Deje Smith. Princess Ayana Shabazz Andrews. At this time, will all seniors please stand up. Class of 2018, please join me in turning your tassels to the left. At this time, will everyone go to the back of their program? Before we depart, we're going to do the Rx Salmo song. So please turn to the back of your program.
officially 2018 graduates. At this time, Mr. Richards, Marshals, we can start our procession outside of the arena. <laughs> 